and welcome back to the channel. Today we will be talking about detail of the ring and of uh, handling anchors, namely the fish davit. Evidently this is a subject of interest among ship modelers and evidently not everybody is aware of how the davit is used and what it uh, does. So over here uh, you can see on the sister channel videos referring to how to make it and how it was built for the model of Boreas that is undergoing a major refit in the shipyard of Olia. So let us begin. Let's talk a little bit about how the fish davit is used and what does it really do. The fish davit changed in dimensions over the centuries. Early in the 17th century and even the beginning of the 18th century, the fish davit is going to be about the same length as is the breadth of the ship. By the late, by the mid 18th century, it has become shorter, usually uh, around 75%, but that could vary. And by the 1780s, more than one fish davit was used. In the slightly earlier period, however, as is on the ship, there would be a ring on the deck or some other means through which the fish davit is rigged and held in place on the one hand side that prevent it from sliding. And the other end of the fish davit would be lying in, in chocks that are built specifically for this purpose. So now we essentially have two cranes protruding from the side, the cathead and the fish davit. As the ship is winning her anchor, the anchor is coming right under the hose hose. As it breaks the surface of the water, the fish, the hook, the first hook of the cathead is passed through the ring boat. So from here onwards, the rest of the lifting of the anchor happens through the cathead until the anchor is brought to this height. This is the stage where a f the uh, uh, seaman will hook the arm of the anchor. That hook is going to pass through block and tackle at the end of the fish. And what is really happening is the fish is lifted, lifting, lifting the anchor until it is secured here at the channel. And that is what the fish davit does. In earlier times, as I said, there was one fish davit that could be used on either side of the vessel. If we drop the anchor, it could be positioned exactly on the opposite, hence the two rings, but it is the one and the same timber. Uh, we do have actual archaeological evidence for fish davits. The one on Vasa, for example, survives and is on display. The anchors eventually would be secured here on the channels, from here, depending which of the uh, set of anchors they are. Well, later in the period, as I said, a second fish davit, shorter one, was uh, built, started adding them, and then obviously the timber, the advantage of it is that the timber did not have to be shifted from side to side, depending which anchor you were winning. And this is all that there is to describe about the fish davit and how the fish davit works. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for your interest, for sponsoring the channel. And I wish you most wonderful rest of the day. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.